We have one of the nation's leading advocates for all Americans, not just people of color, not just women, not just low-income people, all Americans. She's a champion uh, for finding solutions to poverty. She's a champion for promoting wealth. She's a champion for promoting health. She has been a long-serving member of Congress from, from California. She has stood up to amazing presidents, but she has stood in their way and told them, no, you cannot do this. And it is with my great pleasure to introduce someone who has been a friend to me and my family, someone who has been there when I needed it, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of the great state of California, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, and I will be very brief, but first of all, Dr. Rockymore, let me thank you so much for your tremendous leadership and for, oh God, all of the work that you're doing each and every day and to all of you in terms of racial justice, economic justice, and equity. It really makes a difference to have such a tremendous leader such as yourself here in Washington, D.C., doing the hard work with the unbelievably uh, unfortunate backward Congress and Senate and White House at this point. And so stay, as we say in California, uh, stay woke, you know, stay woke. <laughs> but very quickly, uh, just a bit about our Tech 2020 initiative of the Congressional Black Caucus. I come from Oakland, California, right next door to Silicon Valley. Hey, Oakland in the house. <laughs> And for many, many, many years, my constituents have been trying to break into the tech sector as it relates to not only the, the tech jobs, but the human resource positions, legal services, accounting, the uh, supplier diversity programs, all of the wonderful opportunities in Silicon Valley. But it's been very difficult. Lawsuits have been filed, never could break through. So finally, uh, when Congressman Butterfield was chairing CBC, I went to him and we talked about the issues, issues of equity in the tech sector. And we decided to, because of my experience right next door to Silicon Valley, to really look at this from a Congressional Black Caucus perspective. So we established Tech 2020. And we are still working on Tech 2020, and that really is about the inclusion of African Americans in all aspects of the tech sector. And I just want to read to you the, very quickly the principles, because with the Center for Global Policy Solutions, you're really leading the way uh, with this Future of Wealth uh, work, uh, conference this week. And it fits so well with what we're doing at the CBC. And our principles are transparency, companies, companies must set inclusion goals, release data annually, centralize information, education and training, support STEM and HBCUs, corporate responsibility and investment, that means uh, increase board diversity, make sure we target philanthropic investment, expand venture capital, hiring and retention. And so we based our Tech 2020 initiative on those principles. And we're making some progress, but I have to say that it takes all of us to do this. And Reverend Jesse Jackson with Rainbow Push has been such a phenomenal leader. And so we have worked with Reverend Jackson, with the tech sector, with the Congressional Black Caucus to move this forward. And so we're gonna need all of you to really pay attention to this movement now because income inequality is rampant. And in the African-American community, racial inequality and income inequality really puts a burden, a continuing burden on the backs of our children, our young people and our families. And so we have to look to the future. The tech sector is going to be, I think they're estimating over a, uh, a million and a half jobs by 2020 that are gonna go unfilled in the tech sector. And so we have the brilliance, the brains, the heart, the spirit, the know-how to fill those jobs and to also be the entrepreneurs. And so what you're going to do for the next few days, you know, I know will help prepare you to move forward to help us make sure that the tech sector becomes as inclusive as it should be. Here in America, there's no excuse that uh, 
tech companies hire maybe two to four percent African Americans. That's outrageous. It's a shame and disgrace. So finally, let me just quote what Reverend Jackson says about this. He says, to be left behind in tech is to be left behind. And so thank you again, Maya, very much. Thank all of you for being here and hope you have a wonderful summit. Okay, so that was not the start. So go back to enjoying your reception uh, food, and I will be back in a few minutes. Thank you. <laughs>